Hi, it's Honest John here. I've been watching the coverage of Egypt. And the story seems to be pretty straightforward. We have an evil and repressive government that has unleashed vicious thugs on peaceful demonstrators who want democracy. That seems to be what is the uniform line. Everybody seems to agree on this, except for one guy, Glenn Beck. According to Glenn Beck, those demonstrators are part of an evil Islamist conspiracy that's trying to impose Sharia law on the United States. Now there's a jump that only a brain with a serious chemical imbalance could make. And listen, this is not just a put down. I've got a master's degree in psychology. For years, I worked at mental hospitals. I know crazy when I see it. We used to have people like Glenn Beck there all the time. Instead of a blackboard, they used to write on the walls. And maintenance would get pissed off because they would have to clean that shit up off the walls. But what's interesting is that Glenn Beck can't tell the good guys from the bad guys. I mean, even after Fox News reporters were beaten by those same thugs, Glenn Beck's still on their side. And it's, you know, he's had other lapses in judgment. Less than a, two weeks after the assassination attempt and the murder of several people in Tucson, Glenn Beck said these exact words on his show, you're going to have to shoot Democrats in the head. That's some pretty poor judgment. And now we're seeing more. The guy can't tell good from evil. Makes you wonder about Fox News keeping this lunatic on the air. Makes you wonder about his listeners. People hang on his every word. They believe everything he says. But they have eyes. They can look at the TV and see what's going on in Egypt. So you wonder, can they tell good from evil? 